Hello everyone. We are back with another exciting video. So get ready to learn something new. Today in this video you will learn about the new methodology used in almost every organization. Can you guess it? Let me give you a hint. It is a combination of two departments. Pause the video and guess it. Okay, let's review. It is a DevOps practice. Probably many of you guessed it right who are aware of the IT industry trend. So watch this video till the end to familiarize yourself with the DevOps and subscribe to our YouTube channel to find out more treasure of DevOps. Before you understand the whole DevOps framework, you must know that it is not a tool, programming language or a software. Else it derives from its name, it is an advanced approach that combines two functions, development and operations. Let's take a deeper dive into DevOps to learn more about it. In the past, there was a gap in the technical understanding between development and operations teams due to separate roles. The basic roles of the development team is to write code, design new features and test features. Whereas the basic roles of operations team is to manage servers, scaling issues, maintaining bandwidth, security and backup. So this separation of departments often caused miscommunication and misconceptions which resulted in project delays. By adopting DevOps, companies can reduce these issues and streamline their processes. Now let's talk about how DevOps work. To understand this, let's take an example. Suppose you are a team lead of a project and you need to deploy a final product within the given time frame. The development team has written the required codes, tested them and designed the final implication. Also, the operations team managed all the servers or checked the security and the backup. At the time of deployment, you observed a bug in the final product. Now what you will do in that situation? It is scary, right? In this case, it can be challenging to reach a clear conclusion. Once you get started with demo practices and follow this in your company, it will be easy for you to get a smooth and easy deployment because DevOps will increase the speed, workflow, productivity along with the eliminating all the bugs and errors in the process. Now getting an understanding of DevOps is essential, but knowing its life cycle is equally crucial. Let's learn a bit more about DevOps life cycle. DevOps life cycle is visualized by an infinity symbol, which consists of eight phases. Let's know the name of each phase one by one and then I'll provide a brief overview of these eight phases. Planning, coding, building, testing, releasing, deployment, operating and monitoring. So firstly, it starts with the planning phase where we plan that we have to build in the product and then the coding phase is done according to it. After the building and testing phase, the product is released and deployed on the server. Then the product is operated and in the final phase, the operations team monitors the product. If they find any changes in the product, then they send it to the development team as feedback and in this way, feedback loop is created. If you would like a detailed explanation of each phase, please let us know in the comment section. To implement the concepts of DevOps, DevOps engineers use various tools like GitHub, Linux, Kubernetes, Docker, Ansible, Jenkins, and many more. In the upcoming videos, we'll be discussing each tool to get better understanding of it. That was an overview of what DevOps is all about. But wait, this is not the end. If you are still here listening to me, then I guess you have developed your interest in DevOps already. A piece of good news for you is DevOps engineers are in high demand with an average salary of 10 lakhs per annum. So I must say, you are not wrong. Hop on to DevOps right away with S2 Labs DevOps Master Training. Check out the link in the description below to learn more about our DevOps training. Hopefully, you get an idea about DevOps and if you do, then don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.